sugar, spice, and everything nice. Good morning everyone, Michelle here, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if my hand is over the mic right now, I hope it isn't because I'm not using a tripod thingy, but good morning, I literally just woke up, it is 9 o'clock, I go in at 10.30, so for today's video I just thought that I'd bring you guys along with me on a day to work. And I think I'm just gonna vlog for the day. I literally just woke up so I can't really think of anything or like a thought right now. Last night I had a nice little self-care. Is that the word I'm looking for? Like a self-care night. I did a facial, shaved, I exfoliated, I put lotion all over my body, which I usually don't do because I don't like the icky feeling of it. I did a foot mask and it felt really nice just to get myself ready for the next four days. The next four days is gonna be really crazy today is the 30th so i'm going to be working today thursday friday saturday and sunday so wish me luck i'm going to try to vlog as much as i can every day so i'm just going to bring you guys along with me i don't think i'm going to wear any makeup today plus i only have like 35 minutes to get ready which is more than enough time i'm going to go and take a shower and then we're just going to get ready and i'm going to show you guys what i usually do when it's time to go to work okay so we're basically ready to go uh, I was running not late per se, but I have to like leave right now Here's the uniform. I usually wear a hat But um, it's in my bag. I'll do a what's in my bag Some at some point throughout the day maybe on my break or maybe after work and I just take some water and some Gatorade at zero so Let's go get this money. It's first day back after almost like two weeks. Maybe is that two weeks? I don't know, but I don't know. I just got rudely I was changing and then I hear like some click clacks and it's a big ass ladder there on the roof because there's like a leak that's been at uh, our kitchen for like two months already. And yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted. I'll probably see you guys in the car. Today I'm not wearing any makeup. We're gonna do just sunglasses and the hat. The makeup is gonna be for tomorrow, the 31st. See you later. Let me tell you something. I almost walked through that ladder. Do you guys see that? I've already had too much bad luck recently. I'm not walking through no fucking ladder absolutely not okay so next stop is red bull stop usually i buy at breakfast and i'll get like bakery goods but i skipped i skipped no i passed the gas station that has the bakery goods so i came to the gas station that i always get like my vapes and my red bulls so i got two red bulls because i forgot they only have a minimum but usually i get like a red bull and like a vape or something i know so this time i just got two red bulls because i know i'll probably need them and it's sugar free i recently started getting like not really sugar not really sugar free ones got it what is i still have like foggy brain uh recently like without noticing i've been getting like regular red bull and then i realized that i was getting regular red bull and i'm like i totally like the taste better of sugar free red bull i don't know if you guys agree but that's usually this is usually my morning routine i'll leave my house and i will either stop for gas breakfast and a red bull so now i'm gonna drive listen to some music and then we'll chill for a sec but i'm gonna listen to some music get myself ready for the day hi besties so it's actually 10 51 i'm going out with my cousin and we're gonna go see one of our favorite djs since we were like super did i zoom in this camera why is this so zoomed into my face i had an amazing shift i got in at 10 30 like i told you guys and i left like at 8 8 30 went home got ready took a shower and now i'm here at my cousins <gasps> look my miles say 111 can you see that <gasps> lucky numbers um but yeah so um yeah i made a lot of money i had amazing guests it was crazy because there's so many people who are out because of covid but the good thing is it was crazy but we were understaffed but that means that's more money for us in our pockets so tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day because it's technically a double shift like i told you guys and um i can't really wild out tonight but i still want to go out because i know tomorrow i'm not really going to be able to do much because I know I'm going to be exhausted after and I'm not going to do anything because I'm going to be driving alone. And I think it's kind of dangerous to do so. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I think tomorrow I'm just going to work and go home and just party it up today. I'll be fine tomorrow. I go in at 12. So hopefully it's not that bad. I did my makeup really quick. I think it came out okay for the most part. I literally look like I just got out of the shower. But I'm going to go and meet my cousin. I'll see you guys when I get inside. Hey, <laughs> 21, nigga, hey, slap it harder. <laughs> 
Come here, besties. You guys, this is our last hurrah together. This is the last one of the of year. Of 2021. I'm not even going. Whack. Whack. Oh, I love you guys. These are my besties. And he said I love you guys too. Shut up, heck. Bleep it out. Love you so much. These eyelashes go hard, no? They do, they do. They look nice. Michelle here. Uh, today is Wednesday the 5th. Today's the 5th. I don't know the last time I left you guys I think was the day before New Year's Eve. This weekend was so hectic. Of, I didn't get to finish filming if I'm being completely honest. Things are crazy. So I last time you saw I decided to go out uh, last Thursday almost a week ago. Tomorrow will be a week and I had a blast. I had such a good shift that day that I ended up getting invited by my cousin to go see one of our favorite DJs that we used to see all the time. That was cool and I don't regret going to be honest because I had a blast. I knew that that would be the only time that I would be able to go out and have like my last outing of 2021 because I knew I had to work for the rest of the weekend and I would be exhausted. So the next day came Friday. That was New Year's Eve, was it? And we had a double shift and it was really hard. Probably one of the hardest shifts I've ever had in my life. I can literally tell you guys how many hours I worked each day. So let me just tell you guys, let me just show you guys my time cards, just so you guys get a some sort of idea. So this was my work week. So on Thursday, I worked a total of 10 hours. Friday, I worked 14 hours. And New Year's, I worked 18 and a half hours. And on Sunday, I worked nine and a half hours. That was... Let me see if you guys can see it. I worked that many hours. So it was a really crazy weekend for me. New Year's Eve shift was crazy. They ended up giving me the biggest section for the first shift, first half of the day. And it was insane. I was super overwhelmed. I cried like three times. And we all have, we have server assistants, which help us out, like put waters on the table, take silverware, sharing plates. And the one that was with me, I think is, I think he's like a little slow, a little behind and i felt so bad because i didn't want to be rude to him and i noticed that something was a little off with him and i tried to be as patient as i could and i just remember at some point like i got really frustrated and then i started to cry and then i apologized to him and i started crying again because i felt so bad and then i was convinced that we were supposed to have a two hour break and i was like cool i can like relax for like an hour in my car maybe take a little nap and then the next hour go take a shower in the locker rooms and get myself all cute and ready for the actual new year's shift where we changed into like all black and that wasn't the case we maybe had like a 45 minute break and i didn't get to relax i didn't get to do anything i had to go take a shower and like the, the showers like there's not even hot water it was freezing cold i didn't have a towel i had to freaking dry myself with basically a shirt of mine that i had on my bag my makeup didn't come out as nice it was just a mess and then the shift itself wasn't bad the new year's night shift wasn't bad at all I don't really have like friends like that at work so like i did feel kind of lonely it wasn't like a fun thing it was just literally strictly work it was still really lonely i knew it was going to be a hard night for me like i mentioned before i've never worked like a new year's at midnight and also going through what i've been going through recently i knew it was going to be hard because i just picture like i don't i don't know what my ex was doing i don't know what he did i actually had stopped for a bit now maybe like over a week going on two weeks that i haven't checked on his or hers socials and i decided to do that obviously for myself as much as i kind of wanted to snoop around i didn't so i still don't know what he did i don't know if they were together they probably were but i wasn't going to do that to myself already knowing that i was already going to be hurt that day so but it was still going through my mind the entire time because new year's used to be like our favorite holiday together and just knowing that this was like it just it kind of sucked so i spent like my new years like pouring other people's and other families like champagne and stuff and i wasn't with my family and it was really sad it was really sad i cried a lot that day and on my way i just remember getting back to my car and i just was hysterically crying because i just was holding it in like all night 
and then I just went home and I went to sleep. I didn't see anyone's posts, anyone's stories. I just literally was like, I need to go to bed. And then the next couple, the next like two days, I think the shifts were like, okay, they were good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I made really good money this weekend. Obviously it was worth it, but it was still really like exhausting. And then what else? And then I ended up going out on Sunday. The Sunday shift was pretty calm. I think it was calm. I mean, it was pretty steady, but it was still kind of calm, I guess, because it was like the second. So everyone was probably either like really hungover or just at the beach or something. So I decided to go out and meet up with my friends because like I just felt like I deserved it. I deserved to go out and I went out. I had a blast. I saw him and uh, it was rough. It was rough and I ended up doing something really stupid really stupid and i need to and i think that was like the one thing that made me really realize that like he really 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 just doesn't want to like anything to do with me really but he did like a nice gesture gesture is that how you say it that same day and we hadn't really talked i mean he sent me a new year's text and it was nice and it literally like my heart sank to my stomach and I almost wish he didn't send that because I think that text is the text that had me with my stomach and like rumbles the entire shift because he sent it before 12 so it was still pretty early but even after that we hadn't really talked for a few days and then came Sunday he did an, a nice gesture gesture I don't know how to fucking say it and then we ended up I didn't know I was gonna end up seeing him that night I did end up seeing him and it was really hard to see him because you know you just want to I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it too much. I feel like in my last videos, it's been all about that. But like I tell you guys everything, this is like my open space so I can talk about it. Because I know my friends are so sick of hearing it already. So, yeah. And then I just, at the end of my night, I just, I don't know why I did what I did. I'm not going to say what I did. But um, it just really was like a slap in the face. And I think like I was almost embarrassed because I'm still just like reaching and trying and trying and trying. And I have to get through my head that it's just not going to happen. But I think it's like literally like stages of grief over a relationship and just like not wanting to accept the fact that he's with someone else. And it's just making me look stupid and embarrassed. But it's a new year and uh, I got to move on. And now this year is going to be about me and me focusing on myself and falling in love with myself. And I need to let it go. I need to let it go. I do regret doing what I did, but I think it also helped me kind of like slap me in the face and being like, girl, like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, this is enough. This is enough. Like... You're doing things that you said that you would never do and that's so out of character of me and I never want to do that again. So yeah, that was that. That was my weekend. Um, I got my nails done today. I haven't gotten acrylics in a really, really long time. I've been doing press-ons, but one thing that I've wanted to do, I've also spent so much money these past couple days, is I want to start showing up as who I want to be and how I want to hold myself together. Like I don't want to be, I don't want to feel like messy in a way like i want to feel nice like i want to buy new things to make me feel better so i can work better i like the press-ons even at work like they do save me a lot of money but they would always come off i'd have to glue them back on and i just never felt right so i'm like girl go back to doing your nails even though i can't do my long nails anymore i have to do nails like this the lady who did my nails today because my nail lady actually got into an accident and she hasn't been doing nails for a couple months now Hopefully she'll be back soon, so I went to another salon, and I don't really like the way my nails came out. I don't really have the choice, but I didn't have nowhere else to go. I was going to have my friend do my nails because she does nails, but she wasn't available these past two days. Um, so I had to go over there because I needed to get my nails done before I go to work tomorrow. So yeah, I feel like my three days off, literally I blinked and they're gone which sucks i still feel like i need like at least another day to like get myself together but that's fine but yeah i promised you guys i would show you guys what's in my bag in my work bag so i'm gonna show you guys that um this is the work book bag that i take uh there's not really much in it i'll show you guys what's in like my server pouch so first thing i have here is my oh i don't know if it's safe to say where i work but it's like a work hat i have a mask because now we are required to wear a mask the entire shift can you guys believe that during my one of my shifts I had a guest be like, that's so fucking rude, like take off your mask, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, uh, I go back. I literally, the woman was too stunned to speak. I couldn't believe that he literally told me that. But yeah, we have to wear a mask, so I have to take a mask. Um, also, I lost like five pounds that work week because we were working like crazy and I was barely eating. I would barely even have one meal a day and also just 
being depressed just that i just have, did not want to eat anything i have my 5 htp pills which i call my happy pills my serotonin pills so i can kind of like be all right in the head since i haven't really been all right in the head a lot i know you guys have been telling me to go to therapy and do all of that but you know that is money but that is something that is on my list to start doing this year and to kind of like put money to the side too because more than ever i realized that things that i'm going through now i know have a lot to do with my past traumas and it's like all coming back to me and it's all making sense and i come to realize that i really do need help and i do need to do something about it i cannot continue on this way like i think it's time to put on my big girl pants and go to therapy but it's not that i don't want to it's just i want to have enough money to get my apartment but then at the same time i'm like i need my mental health to be good so yeah i've come to realize that the, I, the way that i'm acting is just past traumas i have my old phone because my current phone always gives me problems and one day she'll just stop working completely so i have to have my other phone just in case because just in case of emergency purposes if i'm at work and my phone stops working then i'm fucked and especially working on the beach and having to walk to my car it's super dangerous so i always keep my two phones just in case i have booby tape because some of my work shirts sometimes i go like low and my girls don't look pretty so i have to like tape it in order for it to be like more full coverage so i have my booby tape and then i have my nail oil cuticle oil because i always like to keep my cuticles nice and soft i hate like my hands looking dry so whenever i'm like bored at work i'll just put them on my hands so my hands don't look bad what else that's all i have really have in here i have tampons of course i have nail glue for when i have my press-ons oh i also have like hair clips and hair ties and then this is my server pouch well my server fanny pack when we got hired they did not have any more server pouches and i feel like server pouches are very very important to hold like all your stuff there's a few things in here so it's a little dirty we have to clean her but yeah so first thing i have in here is oh our pens our work pens and they're like eco-friendly pens they're like made out of wood and the top is like this they break really easily but they're pretty cool pens and it says take note of your surroundings they're cute pens we're only allowed to use hotel pens so i always have to have a few a whole bunch in my bag i have my sunglasses they look like the key ones that i used to have from desi perkins but they're they're like fake ones i don't even know where these came from i think someone left them in my car once and i just kept them i have my report my end of the day reports that I actually have to put with my other ones. I have receipts that I forgot to turn in, which I should probably keep so I can turn them in tomorrow. Notepad, my server notepad. I take terrible, terrible notes. And since I always forget everything, I have a million things on my mind. I'm the type of person who like, once I put in the orders, I have to like do lines just so I know that I put all of them in. So yeah, I have my notebook. I have some splash, some Victoria's Secret splash. Just so I don't smell stinky. It's not that I, I'll, I smell bad after work. I just smell like outside. I smell like sun. I smell like trees and grass. I have Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Even though I don't really like using this. This is like for emergency purposes because it has a shit ton of glitter in it. I have Listerine mouth spray. Even though we wear masks now. But I like to use this frequently because I hate when my mouth smells bad. I have a ponytail, an extra ponytail. Oh, I have this expo marker. I don't know where the hell this came from. And then an extra pen. I don't know where this came from here. And my favorite chapstick in the world, which is a few years old. Maybe like two years. This year going on three in September. Brianna actually got me this for my birthday. It's actually running out, actually. But it's still good. It still works. And it smells like my favorite lollipop. So I have that in there because my lips get chapped really easily even though I'm drinking water all day. I've never drank so much water like I do in this job. Another pen. Where is my server card? Oh, here she is. I have my server card to put in orders. I have Vagisil wipes for when I use the bathroom because I am walking around sweating and it's gross. <laughs> so I like to stay and keep fresh and keep myself like clean down there you know i have eye drops because you guys know i have terrible problems with my eyes i have my little guardian angel this was actually on my keychain but she fell off and she broke so i just decided to keep her in my server pouch 
just so I can have good shifts. Another nail glue <laughs> for when I wear my press-ons. And lastly, parking tickets. Parking tickets? Parking tickets. Um, parking is a hassle working on the beach. I remember, remember I told you guys that one of the things that had me second guessing about going back to working on the beach was parking. But my grandmother has a, she does use my car and she has a handicap thing. But she had left it at my uncle's so I have to wait for her to get it and yeah usually i don't really pay for parking because it's like a roulette technically like if you were to pay for parking all day it's almost like 20 bucks 20 30 bucks if you don't get caught you don't have to pay for anything if you get caught it's almost like you were paying for it for the day you get what i mean so i play that roulette all the time and you know what's crazy on sunday I paid all day for parking and it turns out that I missed it by three freaking minutes and ended up getting a parking ticket But everyone told me that I can like fight it and like show proof that I had paid all day and only missed it by like a few minutes And I don't have to get the parking ticket. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I can't be doing this shit anymore and also my grandma used to give me that handicap thing because Parking is just a nightmare but looking back at it, I did make really good money. People were pretty generous this weekend. I mean, I had pretty cool guests, and then I had the guests who were, you know, you're always going to get good and bad people. But nonetheless, you know, even though it was a pretty sad weekend for me, I made money, and that's, you know, I have to make sacrifices for what I want, and I know it's going to be worth it in the end. It's been really hard to not be able to do things with my friends and, like, go out and stuff so easily like I used to. And now I'm just having to work and getting out of work is just so hard because you just leave so exhausted. And I had totally forgotten the feeling of feeling that exhausted. And I just, I've been a crybaby. I guess I think we all know this recently. Again, I'm healing and I my life has completely changed. And I, every day when I get in my car from work, I just cry because I'm just so exhausted and I want to do so much more. And I wish I was that type of person to be able to do more with my day but when i'm exhausted it's just so hard to want to do so and i'm going to be completely honest with you guys i've never been i've always been pretty productive but it's also been really hard for me sometimes as well like suffering from anxiety and depression basically my entire life comes in between that and i never like to use that as an excuse but sometimes that's just it is what it is but i'm trying to change that this year and now that the holidays are over now it won't be as hectic like the shifts will be obviously busy but not like holiday busy hopefully so i'm just trying to get the hang of it i'm so sorry i haven't been able to post the videos the way that i wanted to recently i'm genuinely trying my best but yeah i also went to target just to do some retail therapy because Again, I was feeling a little sad today and I was like, you know what, I want to buy things to make me feel good. Since I'm always at work, I've always been the type to always spend a lot of money on uniforms because I always am feeling different every day, like I'm feeling different vibes. So I always like to have variety. Plus, since we work so many days, it's also hard to constantly be doing laundry. So I got a few things. So I got a pair. So our uniform, as you guys saw when I showed you guys my uniform last time, I forgot what video it was, is like hunter green bottoms. So I got these like baggy pants. They look super nice and they're super comfortable. These were like, oof, how, old, how much were these? These were $35, but they're nice and I feel really confident in them. So I got those. And also usually we wear shorts, but those shorts can be really bad thigh rash. And um, I just can't because then I just can't walk and then it just looks bad. Like once you see the thigh rash, it's just not a cute look. So. I like to go in between the shorts and pants just so it's not bad. So I'll wear shorts one day, pants the next day, just so I can give my legs, my thighs a day to relax. Even though I put like deodorant or chafing cream or anything, it still doesn't fully work. I also got another like white shirt, like beachy oh, bottom, bottom up, button up <laughs> shirt. Um, I have two other ones, but they're stained and they shrink every time you wash them and they're getting like this really weird color. So I decided to get another one. This one was like 20 bucks and this one's a little bigger than the ones that they gave me, which I love because I feel like it just looks a lot better that way. Got a notebook, which I thought was really cute. It was like $3. 
because usually i mean i have my dream notebook my dream big notebook that i have here that i use for literally everything for my notes my plans my journaling literally everything and as much as i love it i felt like i needed something bigger so i feel like maybe for 2022 you know get a new notebook like i use this one to journal and all that and i like, do like my finances and to plan my sponsorships but i think it's time to let this one go and i need a new one for the new year so i decided to get a new one so i got this one and it's bigger and i feel like it would be a lot more comfortable for me i also do want to start journaling every single day because the other day i always forget to and i always get lazy to again my laziness just always gets to me i've always realized that when i do journal i always end up feeling better i almost end up feeling like a relief like kind of like you just dumped everything out and like you're done with it and you can move on so i definitely want to journal more and plan more and write everything down so i got a new notebook i'm probably gonna journal once i'm done with this and then lastly i got a bra i got a bralette one of the hardest things honestly going back to work has been wearing bras oh my goodness i hate wearing bras the only time you'll ever see me wear a bra is like if i go to the gym or that's about it <laughs> was just going to the gym because every time i would go out i would always just tape the girls just tape it and now since i'm at work and i have to wear shirts and stuff like that i have to wear a bra so i only own one bra and that bra is like an actual bra almost a little push -ippy, and it's not comfortable to work in at all and my boobs, and my boobs look huge and i've I'm already like a pretty big girl i don't like to look i don't like to make myself look bigger i like to have my boobs obviously like put together but not bigger i'm not trying to make myself look bigger than what i already am so i kind of got this bralette it was 25 dollars, but it's so pretty i thought it was so pretty and it fits super nice and it's super comfy and it's like nice and lacy it's like a salmon color and no padding no nothing it's just enough to pick up the girls and for people to know that yes she's wearing a bra so then i got this and that's about it i think that's all i really got from target so that was the little haul i'm gonna end this vlog here and yeah happy 2022 i hope this year is everything you guys want it to be and hope for it to be have faith in yourselves i have faith in all of us i know things have been pretty hard over here on this side i know my channel has gone all over the place i've actually lost a ton of subscribers maybe it's looking like i've lost maybe like almost 80 subscribers recently and i totally understand my channel has completely shifted it's gone all over the place but that's just how my life has been and i feel like that just kind of happens and we have no control but i do promise you guys things are gonna get better i do have plans and i promise you that i'm trying my hardest just please have a little patience with me and just stick by my side and i promise you it'll be worth it your girl is trying we're gonna become a better person and i can't wait to go back to these vlogs and just remember and be like oh shit girl we really went through it but we pulled ourselves through so yeah oh i just realized do you see that that's all my dirty clothes because i haven't been able to do laundry that's how crazy my life has been recently sorry you guys had to see that this entire video but it is what it is i wish you guys the best 2022 happy new year thank you so much for 2021 and supporting me throughout the entire year from everyone who's been there since day one i love you guys more than you can ever imagine always remember to be kind to one another i will see you guys on my next one mm -hmm.